you already know the Suns lost the NBA Finals, and it was a brutal one. And for those who don't know, Brandon is the biggest Suns fan of all time for how long now? 15? Since 2005, so wow. 16, 16 years. Since I was nine years old, I've been watching... And this is the first time you've ever seen them go to the finals with yeah. your own eyes. So yeah. talk to us about it, man. How do you feel like realistically? Like let everyone know how deep this really is. Okay, so we could be completely 100% open right here, right? Of course. Uncensored, raw, everything. Dude, this these past two days have been the worst, literally most depressing, saddest, worst two days of my life. And I don't want to cap it at two days because this feeling feels like it's never going to go away. Oh, man. I'm I sorry, couldn't bro. I couldn't go to sleep after the game. Dude, this feeling is like it just sucks. It's like I don't want to do anything. My friends hit me up to hang out. It's I don't like wanna... that. It's like Dude. a relationship breakup. It, it's Listen, way worse. It I, sounds I, like it. I've been through a relationship breakup. This is worse. This I did the pain I'm feeling right now in my heart. I didn't know this pain existed, and I don't wish it on any of you guys. People out there, I don't know how big of a basketball or sports audience you have, but if you aren't into sports, you guys won't understand this pain. But for those out there that are diehard sports fans, this pain is something I don't wish on anybody. It's the worst feeling. Feel you. People might think I'm being sarcastic or joking, nah, and not. it's not. It's not. I couldn't sleep. I can't eat. I don't want to see people. Damn, I'm dude. surprised I left my room to do this, but Listen. Brian is my brother, and Noah is a close friend, so I wasn't going to say no. Thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you, bro. And I forgot to do this when you walked in, but to match the theme of the Suns, like, you know, I have to change the sign to hey the first thank sign you. color change first sign change brandon those words are deep and i can confirm everything that he said because you've seen it you've i've seen, seen it. it i grew up with him and the phoenix suns are very valuable to his life i've seen a lot of tvs broken i've seen a lot of holes in the wall holes in the wall <laughs> and those are Guys, those are after we lose. Sorry, I say we because I feel like I'm part of the Suns. That's after the Suns lose regular games is when I break walls and break TVs. This was the NBA Finals. When I say that no pain will ever match what I'm feeling right now, never, ever, ever. Guys, I don't know. This is, I don't know. I'm, I, I'm actually sorry. Like after I opened up like social media after the Suns lost, I kid you not, I seen so many memes about you. Like more memes about you than I saw people congratulating the Bucks. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. that big. Like I, I'm glad that people actually understand how big of a Suns fan you are. So yeah. no one could ever call you a bandwagon. No. I mean, I'm wearing a Phoenix Suns shirt right now, but Speaking I'm, of bandwagon. listen, listen, I, I did it for the fashion and I went to the Suns game and I was actually rooting for the Suns for you obviously yeah. like because i know how happy you would have been oh so so the fact that like they lost actually hurt me as a person i was like dude like yeah. i wanted to see what my brother would have done yeah a I, lot I of, can't imagine i got a lot of texts from people and calls <laughs> saying like yo bro like i'm not even a Suns fan but i feel so bad for you like my phone was blowing up it felt it was so hot it felt like it was gonna explode <laughs> Because of all the texts, calls, tweets, messages I was getting, you would think that, like, you would think that freaking I was a part of the team. Yeah. Dude, honestly, like, oh my. God. What was the energy like in the arena? So, yeah, we didn't even explain that. Oh I was gosh. I was at the game. Yeah. I, I flew from San Diego to Milwaukee. I f flew across the country to go watch the Suns. And can I just say something? Yeah. Uh, my brother booked his flight to phoenix before game six because he was so confident that they were gonna win and come back for game seven in yeah. phoenix he booked his flight and i think that's what made you the meme because so, so okay let me explain it from my eyes so i came from san diego to milwaukee to watch the suns in a game where if they lost the season was over i was trying to manifest a win so instead of booking my flight back to san diego to come home i said no the season's not ending today there's going to be one more game I in love Phoenix. The yeah. In Phoenix. So I booked my flight to Phoenix before the Suns game even started. The Suns lost. <laughs> I end up calling the airline like, hey, guys, I uh, booked a flight <laughs> to Phoenix. Imagine that phone call. Yeah. They're probably like, yo, are you okay? And like I asked them for a refund, which they clearly did not do. So they gave me credit. So now I have credit to travel somewhere else for $500. Guess what? 
The sun season is over. I don't want to travel anywhere else. I'm not going to travel. Next season. Yeah, there's always a next season. Next season. You think you'll ever go back to the finals like anytime soon? Yeah. The you look think? in all the players' eyes after they lost, it was like a fire. Like, okay. we'll be yeah. back. Yeah. We'll be back. I want to know, like, did you get your ass beat almost for being at that arena? There was a lot of haters. A lot. Because, hey, I'm not going to lie. I went into Milwaukee, into their city, and I was wearing a Suns jersey. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. You were a target, bro. Yeah, I was a target over there. There wasn't many Suns fans. So I expected, like, people to be talking to me. But, yeah, it was bad. People were, like, pulling on my jersey, like, take that shit off. You're in the wrong city. Bro. All the, they were, like, <laughs> uh, giving me the finger. They were cussing at my face. And, hey, I talk a lot of smack, too. You do. So, <laughs> you hey, really hey, do. But my mindset is, if I talk a lot of smack when the Suns are winning, then I got to be able to take it when of they course. lose. So you can't you can't be one sided. So when the Suns lost, you know I was taking the smack talk. I was actually concerned for your safety when you went to Milwaukee. I was like, you yeah. better go with like a security guard or something because nah. these sports fans take it so serious. But then you yeah. also do too, so you can take the yeah. shit when they talk. Yeah, there was a lot of almost fights after the game. <laughs> oh, there was damn. a lot. There was a lot. I so was, you were prepared to throw hands. I ha hey, for my team, hey, I'll do anything, anything for your team. I'll do anything, bro.